Reports are stating that Tottenham are monitoring Murillo's situation at Nottingham Forest. Antonio Conte wants to sign at Pierre Mihoibier at Napoli. According to reports, Giovanni Lo Celso has just turned down a move to the Saudi League and Ria Betis are interested in his services. The Football Insider have stated that Spurs are still interested in Ivan Toni and Dominic Solanke. The new home shirt has just been released. The standard edition will cost you £85 and the elite edition will cost you £125. Two more friendlies for the Spurs under 21s this summer and an international roundup. Chris Cowley. Fan Cows. Club News. Transfer News. Match Previews. Legend Interviews. Spurs Women. Press Conferences. Covering everything. Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going for all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now let's start with an international roundup. On Monday evening, James Madison played the last 29 minutes as England beat Bosnia 3-0 at St James's Park. Uh, on Tuesday evening, Radu Dragushin played the full 90 minutes for Romania as they drew 0-0 against Bulgaria. Uh, also on Tuesday evening, uh, goalkeeper Vicario played the full 90 minutes for Italy as they drew 0-0 against Turkey. And also on Tuesday evening, Troy Parrott scored a 92nd minute winner for the Republic of Ireland as they beat Hungary 2-1. Uh, Troy Parrott actually came on in the 62nd minute. On Wednesday evening, two Tottenham Hotspur first team players will be on match day international duty. Uh, Dian Kulisewski for Sweden as they take on Pierre Mujoybier's Denmark. Also on Tuesday evening, Spurs women player Martha Thomas earned her 36th cap for her country as Scotland beat Israel 5-0 in the Euro 2025 qualifier. Martha Thomas scored four of those goals. It was announced by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Tuesday that the development side, the under-21s, have got two more friendlies booked in for the summer. On Saturday the 20th of July, our development squad will travel to St Albans City. The kickoff time will be 3pm. And also on Tuesday the 6th of August, we will be visiting Cray Wanderers. The kickoff time uh, then will be 7.30pm. On Tuesday morning, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club released the new home shirt for the 2024-2025 season. Uh, the shirts are now available on the Tottenham Hotspur website if you'd like to go and buy one. Uh, the standard version is £85. The elite version is £125. The Football Insider have just reported that Tottenham could sign Ivan Toni or Dominic Solanke in the summer transfer window to replace Richarlison. Ivan Toni has been on Tottenham's radar for some time after the Football Insider first revealed in November last year that the club were ready to go head-to-head -head with some of their Premier League rivals to secure his signature. The Football Insider have also stated that Spurs could sign Ivan Toni for just £40 million this summer ahead of his contract um, in West London, expiring in June 2025. Dominic Solanke is another option Tottenham are believed to be exploring after the Bournemouth star scored 21 goals in 41 appearances last season. Reports in Spain are stating that Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso has just turned down a move to the Saudi league. Uh, Real Betis are also interested in Lo Celso. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur want €20 million Euros for the Argentina international, but Real Betis don't want to pay that much and are asking for a reduced fee. Team Talk have just reported that Antonio Conte has identified his first target as the newest manager of Napoli, having reportedly told the club to sign Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Pierre Mihoibier as a matter of urgency. Antonio Conte is set to be named as the new Napoli boss on Wednesday, and Spurs midfielder Hoibier is among the primary transfer targets of the Italian coach. 
The Football Insider have just reported that Tottenham are interested in signing Nottingham Forest star Murillo as they look to add defensive reinforcements this summer. Um, it then goes on to say that uh, the Football Insider revealed last month that the Reds will be forced to sell players before the end of June to avoid being hit with another points deduction. And the Football Insider have stated that the 21-year-old could be one of the players sacrificed to help Nottingham Forest comply with the financial rules, with Tottenham one of several top clubs monitoring his situation. Murillo has impressed uh, since arriving at the city ground for £15 million last summer, with his contract set to run until 2028. The report also states that Murillo is one of several players that Nottingham Forest could face a battle to keep, given the promise that he has shown over the past season. The Brazilian is one uh, who could receive the most attention after Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United and PSG are all believed to be monitoring his situation. Now, my thoughts on everything in this episode, let's start by talking about the international roundup. Of course, the big question is at the moment, is James Madison going to be on that plane to Germany for Euro 2024? I don't think that James Madison could have done any more in the minutes that he played against Bosnia. Um, he was very alert and he was uh, all over the place when he came on. And uh I think that he has given uh, Gareth Southgate even more of a headache. Um, Troy Parrott is on fire at the moment. Two hat-tricks within a week. And, uh, of course, he has just got the winner for the Republic of Ireland. He is on fire. I think that uh, he will probably be going out the door. I think the Spurs will probably sell him this summer. I know a lot of people at the moment are saying, why don't we keep him uh, and play someone like Troy Parrott in the Europa League? That's a good point, but I can't see it happening. Uh, I think that Tottenham will probably cash in and uh, I think that he will probably go on to um, be successful in somewhere like the Dutch League. He has done extremely well. He's had a great season. Um, two more friendlies for the Tottenham Hotspur under-21s. They're going to be busy. Of course, the men's first team have got a lot of friendlies coming up in the summer as well. Uh, we will be playing away at QPR, um, at Hearts in Scotland, and then, of course, in Japan and uh, South Korea as well. The new shirts have just been, uh, or the new home shirt, should I say, has just been released. Uh, the standard edition, £85. The elite edition, £125. That is a lot of money, uh, especially, um, you know, when parents are buying the kids shirts and uh, if you buy them yourself as well, you know, a family of four, that is a lot of money for replica shirts. Um, I remember the days when they used to cost 45, 50 pounds and now they are 85 pounds or the elite edition, 125 quid. Wow. Um, Giovanni Lo Celso has apparently just turned down a move to the Saudi league. Real Betis are interested. Uh, I could definitely see that happening, the Real Betis deal. Uh, apparently they want Spurs to lower the asking price. Um, I think the Spurs are going to be very, very busy this summer in terms of incomings and outgoings. I think that probably we're going to have to uh, work very, very hard on the outgoings, negotiate a lot of deals I think that one or two contracts will probably be torn up. Tongyun Dombele, uh, for instance. Uh, Giovanni Lo Celso, I've said many, many times on this channel. Um, you know, if there's any season, I think he would have, could have been given more of an opportunity. It's probably the one just gone um, under Ange. But whenever he seems to come into the team and does well, it just seems like he gets injuries at the worst times um, when he's just getting into that rhythm. Um which, of course, then, when he is injured, uh, there is no rhythm, um, which is a big, big shame. Um, I think there is a very, very talented player there in Lo Celso, uh, but, you know, the injuries just let him down, um, and then he just does not get that game time that he desperately wants and needs. Um, the Football Insider have stated again uh, about Dominic Solanke and uh, about Ivan Tony. Of course, we are going to be linked with every single striker under the sun um, in the next couple of months until Spurs actually go out and buy a new number nine. Um, I think that even if Spurs were going to keep Richarlison, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he does head out the door this summer, by the way. Uh, but if he does stay, um, he does definitely need competition. Um, you know, a real quality number nine to come in who we know is going to hit the ground running and score goals straight away. 
Um, apparently, Antonio Conte wants uh, Pierre Mihoibier um, at Napoli. Uh, I wish Antonio Conte all of the very best um, at the Italian club. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hope that um, he does come in for uh, Pierre Mihoibier. And I think that Hoibier is yet another player who is going to leave Tottenham Hotspur this summer. Um, and, you know, I wish him all of the very best because, of course, we need a number of players to head out the door, uh, you know, get that kitty mounting up uh, where Postacoglu can then go out and buy his own players. Uh, they can come in and hopefully do um, a better job because, of course, you know, as I keep saying and repeating, um, it is a huge summer um, ahead again. Uh, for this football club and uh, you know Postacoglu needs to continue the rebuild that he started last summer. Um, Tottenham are monitoring Murillo's situation at Nottingham Forest, um, a top player. He came in um, from Brazil uh, last summer, he's had a great season at Forest, uh, a very very good young talented player. Would I like to see him in a Spurs shirt? Absolutely, uh, but is it realistic? Um, given the fact that we've only just signed Dragushin, uh, given the fact that we've got players like Ashley Phillips uh, wanting game time and, and will probably get game time uh, in the Europa League if he doesn't go out on loan. Because you've got to remember that some of these players, they want to be playing week in, week out. Um, you know, Where someone like Ashley Phillips has been playing week in, week out uh, for Plymouth and just got player of the season there as well, um, it's going to be an interesting situation. Um, I think a lot of the development players as well will probably be knocking on the door saying, you know, if I'm not going to get game time in the first team next year, then um, can I go out on loan? I think that that's going to happen quite a lot. Um, but as I keep saying on every single edition of Tottenham News on this channel, um, a big summer ahead, lots of players in the door and lots of players out the door. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on your Spurs.